Hey you guys, this is Monica with Show Me Crafty and I am going to show you guys how to do a rhinestone decal. I'm going to stick mine on my car, but you can stick it on, you know, any smooth hard surface. Um, but I'm going to stick mine on my car. So what you're going to need for this project is for all of our rhinestone projects using the Cricut Explore. Um, You'll need some way to prepare the template to take it into design space. We are going to use sure cuts a lot. Um, you will need, of course, Cricut Explorer and design space access. Um, you'll need a sticky flock, which is what I'm going to use as my rhinestone template material. So you'll need a rhinestone template material. I'm going to use size SS10, that's SAM, SAM10, rhinestones. Um, you will need hot fix tape to remove the design from the template once the stones are brushed in and you will need some rhinestone decal material to press the design to in order to make um, what I'm going to use as a card decal. So let me gather the supplies so I can show them all to you and then we'll get started. Okay you guys so <clears throat> The materials. You'll need sticky flock, which is what I'm using. Sticky flock or some other rhinestone template material. You will need hot fix tape. You will need brushes, um, which are just little paint pads to brush the stones into the design, into the template. You'll need rhinestones. And I'm using size SS10, that's S Sam Sam10. And finally, you'll need some of this. This is the rhinestone decal material. You can order some from the rhinestone world. Um, I got this from a store called Bling Over Bling in Houston. Um, but it's good stuff and it's fun to work with. So this is what you'll actually press the rhinestone design into to make your car decal or your decal. I'm going to stick mine on a car. Anyway. Okay, so let's get started. First, we are we're going to be working in sure cuts a lot. Um, like I've said before, I do a lot of stuff in the um, TRW Design Wizard. Um, and I just did a video on using uh, the pre-made rhinestone templates within ink state ink scape <laughs> to prepare them to be uploaded into um, design space anyway let's get started what I want to do for this card decal I want to use this monogram set that I have a circle monogram set now I did not realize until yesterday yesterday or the day before um, that there are issues when I try to use this font in design space. Um, I got, I think there are four, the four different uh, fonts um, for the circle monogram set that I got um, from heraldsfonts.com. Um, and so, you know, these are some of the examples of what you can do with this font. And then down here is the key on how to use the font to create the different frames and so and such. Um, if I tried to make this one, for instance, this BBB with the the double circle frame around it, if I just type that into Design Space, it is going to it's not going to appear like this. Um, the characters will appear in the correct you know shapes. So BBB will look like that monogram but it will be outside of this frame so anyway I didn't realize that because I didn't try to do it in design space until a couple of days ago um, and that's when I realized uh, I would have to keep doing it in shortcuts a lot or um, this uh, design wizard <clears throat> anyway that's an aside this is what I'm going to be using uh, to do my to do the decal that I want so I want it to look like this one. I think. Well, I think I want it to look like this one. Yeah. So 
going to go back to Shortcuts a lot. I already have the circle monograms, three black. See, there's four of them. There's three black, three white, two black, two white. And then in addition to that, they have the different frames. And you just have to um, follow these instructions and type in certain characters to get it to look the way it's supposed to look. But anyway, I think I want this frame with the three three black. Let's see what happens when I do that. So click text and in order to get that frame I have to type in the less than symbol. Did it work? Did I type it in? Okay, I think it did. Less than symbol and I'm gonna do the initials for show me crafty. So the S would be lowercase, the M would be uppercase and I would type in a C to give me the three. But already I'm seeing that this is not the one that I wanted. Let's see what happens if I make it the three white. Okay, let me just back out of this and we'll try this again. So, the one that I want, I want this one. Oh, it's the greater than sign, not the less than sign. Duh. Okay, here we go again. Okay, greater than, there, I see the frame now. Small s, capital N, three for the C. Cool. And then I'm going to blow this up. Let's see what size it is. Blow this up to about six. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. Let's do this. Start again. I want it to be. It's stretching in a way I don't want it to. Okay, yeah, I think that'll make a good size decal. I did want to try to uh, make it a little bigger, but let's try that. Let's try it and see what happens. Um, First thing I want to do though after that is go up here to layers, I'm sorry, path, and select union just to make sure that that's all welded um, and that there aren't going to be any stray lines or anywhere that I don't want. Okay, so I did that. Then I'm going to go to Effects, select Rhinestones, select SS10, Round, and let me get a preview. Hold. Anyway, okay, so that's a preview of it done in an outline design. Let's see what it looks like if I feel, fill the shape. Okay, I don't like that with the shape filled. Um, I guess I kind of like that. But you know what? Let me cancel this out. Let's see if I can make this a little bigger because I was really hoping to get it like six inches. Okay, there it is, six on the bottom. First measurement to get six, and I will stop. Okay, and okay, um, so six point zero one one inches in height. Let's try that and see if it doesn't come out better. So effects, rhinestones. Round. I know that noise has to be annoying. Sorry about that. SS10 preview. Mm, that's not too shabby. Now, what does this look like? That's not too shabby either. So, there's a stone count of 1,189 stones to fill the entire shape which actually looks pretty good 
or 615 stones to do the outline. I'm not sure which one I liked better. Let me take a look at this again. Hmm. I think I am going to go with just the outline. So I'll click OK. OK, and so our height on this is 6.011. Um, and let me blow it up a little bit. It looks pretty good. I don't think. Let me get rid of this window. I don't think I need to edit anything actually. I probably could do a little something over here, but I think I'm going to leave it. I think that's good. Okay, so then I'm going to remember. Actually, I don't have to. I was about to make a little bit of a faux pas there. I'm going to create a rectangular box and I'm going to color it pink. Looks like it should already be pink. Oh, that's the stroke color. Okay. Now you. Okay, and then to the bottom. Okay. Then I'm going to select, and I created that box to be my actual, to represent the actual template um, surrounding the, the rhinestone design. So then I'm going to select this. And I haven't broken the stones apart because I didn't need to really edit anything. So I'm pretty sure that it will do the knockout just fine, but that's what I'm going to do. I select the entire um, image set, the template layer and the rhinestone layer. And click knockout and then click OK. And it says knockout not responding, but it will respond eventually. Okay, we're back again. Let's see what happened here. There we go. And so I'm going to get rid of this because I don't need that. Here is the template that I am going to export to use in Design Space. <coughs> to use in Design Space, excuse me. So go to File, Export. SMC car decal. Okay, so I'm back. So anyway, um, we're under the export options. I don't touch anything in here, and I leave that design space compatible box checked. So then you just click OK. And your file should now be saved as an SVG um, to the folder that you indicated. Then you run over to Design Space. And this is what I was talking about. Let me blow this up a little bit so you can see. If it lets me blow it up a little bit, it says it's not responding. We're just having all kinds of hiccups today. OK, it's not responding, but just to show you what happened, when I type that circle font into design space. The, see how the AB monogram is outside the frame? Um, that's what happens when you try to use it here. Hang on, I'll be. Okay, so now we have this design exported and I, um, I've lost some of the footage here, so I'm not sure what's missing at this point, but what I did was I went back and instead of this, making this closer to a six inch decal, I made it closer to a, to a four by four. And I'm looking at places on here where I could have cleaned up the rhinestone placement a little bit, but you know what, it's, it's a car decal. It's gonna be fine. This isn't one that I'm selling. I'm 
making this for myself and just showing you guys um, how to do it. So we're going to run over to Design Space and I will be right back because I thought we were already in Design Space. Okay, now here we are in de Design Space. Go to Upload Images. Click Upload Image. Okay, and we want the SMC card decal, and this one is the smaller one that I did, the one that's closer to 4x4. Four four. Okay, then we hit save. Okay, here's our image. Okay, a lot real quick. And just to check the width on this, 5.219. So I'll check to see how close it comes to 5.219 in width once it appears on the canvas in design space. <clears throat> okay, so we've got our image and I've already forgotten the measurement. 5.219. Go to edit. 5.21 is how it came in. I'm just going to stick a 9 in there. If it only does one 9. Okay, so now we're ready to send it to the cutter. Um, I'm not going to film the template being cut out again. So basically I will load the uh, sticky flock onto the cutting mat, cut it out. It will not be a mirror image because it is a rhinestone template. If I were doing the faux rhinestone design where I was going to reverse weed it in like a holographic heat transfer vinyl, then I would mirror image it, but this won't be mirror imaged. And so I'm going to go ahead, send it to the cutter, um, use my custom setting that I did for rhinestone templates, which is a 210 cut pressure with a double cut. So I'm going to get that all cut out and I will be back. Okay, so here is the weeded template. And that's just where I weeded it off the, um, the mat. I actually took the backing off, stuck the sticky flock to the mat, cut the design, and then removed the stencil layer. So I'll have to scrape that off that mat. This mat was pretty much done anyway. So when they're on their last legs, um, when the mats are on their last legs, um, I find it good to hang on to them to use them just for this purpose. Okay, and here I'm using one of my little makeshift um, sticky block stations. Remove the backing from that template. And it's probably, yeah, it looks like it's right side up as to you guys. It's upside down to me. Place it on there. Make sure it sticks around the edges. And then...
dump in some stones. Take our brush across. Okay, there it is. Check it out. You see this mess right here? All that right there? That's what happens when you finish brushing in the stones, but then you accidentally drop the camera onto the sticky flock surface. So let me redo this and then I'll get back to it. Okay, now I just need to go press it to the rhinestone template material. Okay, so here's the decal pressed onto the rhinestone um, decal material. And I just need to trim around the edges of it. And then I can peel that cloudy backing off of it and stick it to the car. So I'll be back. Okay, that's it all trimmed up. I just have to remove the cloudy backing and stick it on the car, and I'll show you guys a picture. Okay, so here we are. Here is the decal um, on my car window. I really should have waited until morning when we have a light outside, but I wanted to go ahead and get a picture of it. Um, so it's kind of dark, but if I show you the next one, there's a little more light on there. And there's a lot more light there, but then it's kind of distorted. But anyway, that's the decal. I will uh, put some links in the description box down below for the materials that I used, where I got them from. I'm also going to link to a video from the Rhinestone World that um, kind of shows you how to use that Rhinestone decal material. Uh, until next time, you guys.